In today's video, we are going to be creating a soft transpluck. We're going to be using velocity and filtering to create this softness, and they're going to be the backbone of the sound, whilst there's going to be a few other parameter tweaks as well that you can use in your own sound design, but the filtering and the velocity are going to be the backbone of this sound. And for this, we're going to be using Serum. I'm going to use the effects filter and the main UI filter on the main page. So we're going to be using a dual filter setup. As always, if you have any questions about what you see in this video, or if you have anything to contribute to the video, let me know down in the comments. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see today. And with that said, let's get started. Okay, so let's get going. So Unison, I'm going to increase this to one. We're going to use the standard saw default. And if we just hold a key here, we have a detuned sound, but we have a left and right, as opposed to straight down the middle. I'm just going to bring the detune down. And it gives us a nice solid saw wave still, but it just gives it a bit of a wider appearance. And with that, we are going to turn on a filter, a classic way to start softening up the sound. I'm going to change this to an MG low six and just bring this down to around the 100 hertz mark. Perfect. Now we're going to shape envelope one in a second, but you're going to use envelope two and I'm going to bring this to about halfway and increase the release to around the one second mark. And I'm going to attach that by dragging and dropping onto the cutoff. And I'm going to bring the release down. Perfect. So now we are modulating the cutoff, essentially opening the filter from the point that we set to full and then back down to nothing, which it's got a sustained value here. So about halfway and it's going to hold that value until we let go and drop it back down to where it was. We'll come back to this. We'll probably change this up in a little while. And before we get on to anything else, I'm just going to drag and drop some effects on. So reverb and delay. I'm just going to have one over eight on here. Ping pong. And I'm going to roll these off around 4000 on the hertz. Bring the delay down a little bit. That's about right, about that 25% mark. And I'm going to bring up some extra reverb. So about six seconds, a bit of a bigger size, roll some of those lows out, some of the highs through. I'm just going to increase the depth of the spin there on that, just to give it a bit of modulation in the reverb. And let's just turn this on. Thought that was a bit strange. down a little bit. Usually I won't go this much, but we are making a pluck, so perfect. So we have the basis for pluck and we've got a little melody already programmed in here. Which is not helping us at the moment due to the fact that everything is maxed out at its maximum. And if we look at envelope two, when we drag and drop that onto cutoff, it's modulating from the point of our cutoff, which is set here to the sort of like 11 o'clock position. And it's modulating to a fully open filter. So we want to bring this back down and control its range. But first I'm going to bring down the cutoff to around nine o'clock. So it's going even further than that we had it. And that will be apparent in a second when we tweak this up. So let's bring this down. <laughs> just enough so there's some brightness but not too much brightness and that is a good starting point I'm gonna bring up the drive here a little bit so let's just add in say 25% this is just a little bit of extra saturation within the filter and it just compensates for the volume dip that we've got now if we just hold this you can see it's gonna hold the value at this sustain point till we let go and then it's gonna stop but it's holding the note at full volume not the, f not the filter at full volume, but the note. And that's because envelope one needs setting. So we're going to set this roughly to the same and increase the release. So now we've got a little bit more of a pluck and I'm going to bring that down to roughly the same level, but then bring our pluck down. 
we have a lovely sounding soft pluck, but it's not quite there yet, and that is because we need to add velocity. Now you might have noticed this moving around when we've been playing our notes. And you can hear as I hit the keys louder, it's getting louder, and when I hit them softer, it's staying lower down, and that is our velocity sensitivity. So I'm gonna bring a little bit of a curve just to give it a bit more of a human feel, and I'm gonna drag this onto our level. And I'm going to have the minimum of our volume around the 50% mark here. And I'm going to bring the velocity up to the sort of 9 o'clock position. Or 3 o'clock position, shall we say. So we're getting a little bit of velocity sensitivity. I'm just going to narrow that down a little bit. just want a little bit of extra control over the velocity of the volume so it's not just a static level all the time and this is going to help with making the sound a lot softer so that's velocity attached to there that is a very common place to attach it we can do that through the mod matrix if you wanted to but it's just easy to drag and drop that way so i'm going to bring the velocity over to the cutoff and i'm going to add it in there and you can see it's populated the rest of the parameter to maximum again so if we hit the keys hard, it's going to open the filter right up and hit them softer. It's going to keep the filter a lot closed. So I'm going to bring this down. Let's play our little melody, which is already velocity sensitive. Keep going. About there, but I'm going to bring the cutoff down even more. And that is a very good starting point. So now we have a very soft sound, but it's got depth in there because of the level of the volume and the level in which the filter is opening. And from that, you do have your first velocity sensitive patch. It sounds soft and it sounds calming. And we've got the effects on there just to blur the edges between the notes and that all sounds nice. But there's one more thing that I tend to do and we have a use for envelope three and a second filter in the effects. So first with the envelope three, I'm gonna make a nice sharp stab. Not fully all the way to the bottom, so we've got a bit of sustain, and I'm gonna open up the release a little bit just so it doesn't sound janky when we turn, when we're pressing the keys, because if you just have this to zero, it's gonna turn the filter off immediately and it's gonna sound weird. So I'll demonstrate that in a second anyway. So I'm gonna attach this to the cutoff as well. So now we've got a really sharp attack, really quick attack on there. And if we was to put this down to zero, you get a bit of a weird sound to it. It's closing off too quick. Whereas that just takes that little bit of an edge off and the note glides naturally down. I'm gonna bring this down now. Let's play our melody. this envelope that we've just added. It's added a little bit of extra attack on there and yes you're going to say that is going against what we're trying to do make it softer but it's just giving it an extra layer of texture to add to the timbre of the sound now we can mess around with the attack on here so the actual envelope takes a little bit less a little bit longer time sorry to open up the cutoff so let's just have a listen to how that works i'm just going to exaggerate this again nice sharp attack but this one hasn't and I'm going to bring this back down get away with six in that instance now that we've opened the attack a little bit I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more to three and that's just to add an extra layer in there. So have a mess around with that. Even with other plucks, you can create extra attack by doing this, by using a really fast envelope to control the same cutoff parameter. So you get two layers of that filter being modulated. 
And the final tip that I'm going to give you is in the effects. If we go to the filter, use MG Low 6, and I'm going to open up the filter to its maximum so it's doing nothing at this moment. You could argue it's just shaving a little bit off the top, just a smidge, but that's not really a problem at this, this stage now. So what we're going to do is use velocity on the cutoff, but we're going to go the opposite way. Which might sound counterintuitive because on this first one we've used it to open the filter a little bit to give it a bit of depth and natural feeling to the sound that when you press the keys softer you're going to get a softer sound, a quieter sound. But with this, when we hit the keys softer it's going to be more open keeping that original position, but if you actually hit the keys harder, it's going to close this filter down to further soften the higher notes that are actually opening up into the other filter, giving us room to edit the other filter and actually open it up further than we could have done before without it sounding too bright and hard. So let's have a listen to this. I'm going to drag this up as we go along. Listen to that, how soft that sounds. You can see the velocity values of the louder notes hit. It's actually getting quieter because it's shutting the filter down. And on this one, it's actually opening the filter depending on the level of the note, the, the velocity of the note, should we say. So doing that is making them opposite ends. And it's just, it's a bit like keyboard tracking in a way but a visual way to show you how keyboard tracking works. So the louder that note hits based on velocity, it's going to actually close this filter more and stop it becoming too bright, especially in the higher note regions as well on your keyboard. So have a mess around with that. That is another great way to further soften the sound down. And then we can mess around with this cutoff here a little bit. opening that up is actually keeping it soft because this one's operating the opposite way. I am going to bring this back down, it's just there's a bit too much range there and it makes the note sound obviously wrong with that particular velocity setup I've got on them keys. And there we are, we have our first patch, we can just increase the master a little bit. And if you so wish to, attach the mod wheel to your cutoff, and then we can move the mod wheel and open up the filter at will. And you can hear that it's never getting too bright. And that brings us to the end. I hope you've learned something new for your sound design in making things sound a little bit softer. It doesn't just apply to plucks. It can apply to all of the sounds that you're trying to create where you don't want it to be obnoxiously hard or loud. Using the combination of filtering and velocity is a good starting point to get any sound sounding softer. Just a few pointers. You can change your wavetable or your waveform to naturally sound softer at the beginning so you're doing less work in terms of filtering so there are those options as well and you can also use different sort of bending tools that come with different synths so you could use the bend plus just to kind of soften the edges of a particular sound there's all different ways that you can approach this so thank you very much for watching i'll see you all in the next video take care